Now we're going to learn about the future tense in using um, it to express uncertainty about something. So uh, this is this is something that doesn't really correspond to the English translation will in any way. This is something that's very specific to Spanish and the use of the future tense. This is also something that um, one use of the future tense that you could not readily swap out ir plus a plus the infinitive um, for this tense. So you couldn't say um, voy a and then the verb uh, to express uncertainty like like you can for other uses of the future tense. So this is one instance where you actually will find the future tense used even in conversation um, because there's no other way to express this this uncertainty in the same way. So uh, let's take a look at a few, a few of these examples of expressing uncertainty. ¿Dónde estarán mis llaves? Ayer las puse aquí. So here the speaker is unsure of where his keys are. Where are my keys? Yesterday I put them here. So estarán is used to express uncertainty, um, almost uh, an expression of where on earth are my keys sort of thing. Um, again, ¿Qué será ese sonido? What is that sound? But because the future tense is used, it's, it gives more of a feeling of like, what on earth could that sound be, sort of thing. Alguien está tocando la puerta. ¿Quién será? So someone is knocking at the door. Who could it be? Who is it? Um, so again, doesn't correspond to the will in English, but it's, it's a very common phrase. ¿Quién será? Uh, it's a very common way of expressing what, what, who could that be or what could that be? Um... Hace una semana no me contesta mi primo. ¿Qué pasará? Uh, so, it's been a week since my cousin isn't answering me. What could be happening? Or what is happening? Uh, again, this feeling of what on earth is happening. ¿Será que hay arroz en la casa? Mejor compremos una bolsa para estar seguros. So... Um, again, because of the uncertainty, será que hay? Uh, could it be, or is it true that there is um, rice at home? Let's buy a bag just to be sure. So, será que hay arroz en la casa? There you can tell, because of the use of the future tense, that there's a lot of uncertainty on whether there is rice or not. So, again, this is the future tense, and using using the future tense to express uncertainty about something.